Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we finished our infiltration of the Great Burger in the Sky, also known as Big Bang Spaceports, with the treasure's location finally pinpointed, and our team fully prepared to change another part of another true criminal. I think it's time to don our masks and send out that calling card once and for all. So, with that being said, it's time to finally take down Kuni Kazu Okumura, also known as Haru's father. And honestly, we're more, mostly doing this for Haru, but we can definitely save a lot of people from doing this. So honestly, let's just send out the calling card. I think we're ready. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do this indeed. <laughs> uh, we just gotta send it out, and we're all ready. Um, we will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay, I place this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear correct. Yeah, as long as he reads it. Hmm, if he notices calling card, then yes. Or you're afraid of doing this to your own father. And to be honest, a little. Yeah, I don't blame you. Hmm, try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow. Um, that's right. Those are the rules. Will you be okay? Um, yeah, will you be okay? Definitely gotta make sure she's all for this. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, then it's a plan. Um, we can laugh or cry all we want, but we only get one shot at this. True to that. Everyone, I'm counting on you. <laughs> yep, counting on everybody. We need the whole team if we want to do this one. Because, yeah, the further and further we get, the tougher and tougher the big bad guys are going to get. That's for sure. Please excuse me for messaging you so late in this evening. I truly apologize for what has happened in this case. Oh, so formal. Hmm, she seems to be a particularly conscientious person. Um, I kind of feels it kind of feels like the this, that formality is putting some distance between us, though. Hmm, we're teammates, Haru. Don't be so stiff. Um, we're teammates, Haru. But I'm the newest member I need to act respectfully. Um, we don't really pay mind to those kind of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Um, thank you, Maku-chan. <laughs> Thanks, but you don't need to worry. Um, do you mean me? Um, sorry, I think my fingers said that, typed that subconsciously. Um, I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Um, not a problem. Then personal touch is actually refreshing. <laughs> Great. I hope we can get into the being the best of friends, Michael Chan. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about that. I sort of got carried away. <laughs> uh, my God, I love this team. This team is just a big old meme, isn't it? Well, let's see how more comments doing. Um, tomorrow's a big day. You can try to relax or do as much as much prep as you can. Just do what you need to before it's too late. True to that one. Because, yeah, now that we're getting um, into 920, um, our year is actually getting closer and closer to the end. Because we got here in about April, and it's already in September. So, or actually the end of September. So, yeah, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year again. But, um, let's see what's going on with the, the pompous costume right here. The fanatical masses are wait, um, light waiting in anticipation of what the Phantom Thieves will do next. Are you among those who are waiting to see the president of the company meet his judgments? Um, I am or I'm not interested. Um, kinda. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. I can't, also can't deny the excitement I feel in my heart. It's clear that they have power. They have an ethical obligation to use it wisely. The pressure and expectations that burden exceptional people. I know it well. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna be going home then. Yep, with great power comes great responsibility. Also known um, as uh, good old Uncle Ben's uh, words of wisdom to Spider-Man. But it's, yeah, we gotta be very careful on how we use our power, that's for sure. Um, are you making some coffee for tomorrow? Not a bad idea. Yeah, I want to do one of these for you guys since we haven't done one of these in a while. So, I'll brew some coffee up. <laughs> it's pretty fun once it started. <laughs> There's a lot to know and enjoy about coffee. Well, whatever. Alright, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. Okay, you go do that, Sojuro. You, honestly, you smoke a lot of cigarettes. 
because we did these like back to back one time and he bought like two packs almost instantly. But yeah, definitely he should probably cut back on how much he smokes. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of good coffee. <laughs> Same here. But this is just a repeat conversation, but I liked reading through it just because it's time to hang out with Morgana since, you know, we don't really get to do much um, just Morgana and Joker conversations other than when he ever he gets his support ranks up. Um, the way you're drinking it makes it look kind of delicious. Yeah, it must be. It is a master coffee. Um, <laughs> looks like the taste demo in the charm is rubbing off on you. If it does. <laughs> and we'll take it even though we're maxed out. But yeah, the main reason why we're doing this is for Sojuro though. Since Sojuro's conversations about coffee are pretty cool. Huh, looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Okay, yeah, you can have a sip. And then tell us all about it. See if he likes it this time. Huh, this flavor. This is Ethiopian uh, Mocha Harar, isn't it? Um, I guess. Ethiopian Mocha Harar. Mocha is a port town in the Republic of Yemen, where both Yemeni coffee and Ethiopian being Mocha Harar are exported. I always thought Mocha was just something to do with chocolate, to be honest. Apparently I was wrong. Coffee from the region was given the moniker Mocha. Mocha coffee has a uniquely spicy flavor and a strong har aroma with blackberry notes. Um, really? All the mocha coffee I've ever had was sweet. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I guess there's two different versions, so I'm so I was right on my version then, because um, the mochas I drink are really really sweet. I don't. I did. Okay. Well, now I know that there's two different words for mocha. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. Flavor profiles bland. You should practice more to bring out the roots full potential. Though I see you're prepared to come the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. Okay, thanks, Sergio. It was thanks to you that I was able to change. You really are something. Huh. But I won't let you have the upper hand when it comes to coffee. Although, I have no doubts your skills will soon surpass my own. <laughs> I'm overjoyed to have a competent apprentice. Now I'm going to act as your lead a little longer. Okay, of course, Sojuro. <laughs> lead as long as you want. Oh, um, we should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. True to that. Very big day. With the fact that we're going to be taking down another big targets, and this time CEO, which is definitely a big, big target, let's be honest. But here we go. Time for his calling card. Hey, <laughs> Sir Kunakazu Kunra. The great profiteering sinner of greed. Your successful and global fame exists due to your tyranny. You reign over your employees. Thus we have decided to make you confess all of your crimes with your own mouth. <laughs> from the Phantom Thieves. Yep, from the Phantom Thieves. We're ready to take you out, bud. Hmm, I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. <laughs> Well, you can definitely try. I don't think you're going to be able to do much. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to, to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to sign with the law-abiding citizens? <laughs> While well, I'm biting my ass. Sorry, but <laughs> we've already seen what you do, dude. You are not a good dude. I will not fail. <laughs> okay, time to take down um, the Dark Lord of the Spaceport, because it's about time to take down the Burger Lord. <laughs> it's a funny name, honestly, but it's basically what he is, isn't it? <laughs> this manner is urgent. Take care of it at once. Okay. Nope, it's about time. Um, I need to let everyone know about this. Yep, now that we know for sure that he's read it, now it's time to take him down. Because as long as he's read it and he's um, actually seen what's um, going on with it, that's how we know for sure. The vice principal seems pretty on edge these days. Someone in my class got her recommendation cancelled by the vice principal. The vice principal's been running his mouth lately. It's pretty annoying. They're gonna give us hell if we don't win next time. Another tournament's coming up. We have no chance of winning, though. Oh, wait, tournament. That must be about Kazumi, then. Huh, interesting. 
But yeah, definitely, now that um, he's read the calling card, it's about time we actually take him down. Okay, with the school now over and done with, let's continue where we left off. <laughs> wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it. Apparently so. Hmm, this is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. His change is, is, is for me to say. I could see that being the case. Oh, whoa. The comet's coming in our hot. Um, look. Oh, apparently people are happy we finally sent the calling card. Oh, take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up. Um, just do it quick, Lol. Uh-huh. Um, they just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. And that is indeed true, because one of the comments that comes in literally says that make them beg for forgiveness. So, yep, that's indeed true. Oh, damn it. This isn't a game. Yeah, if it isn't. And these people are just toying with us, pretty much. But there's not that much we can do about this one, because the target actually is someone we should normally take out. Because, like, with Yusuke, we're doing this for somebody else's sake and not our own. Hmm, this means that the end has been rever the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. <laughs> but we gotta do this. Can't just drop everything now. True. Hmm, considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier world we pulled the root, the better. True. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. Definitely, definitely true. <laughs> if we don't, then everything we've do been doing up to this point now wouldn't just been for nothing. True. Oh, I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Well, Ryuji and Hari were right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Akuma may just be one, one behind may be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't just like, leave this be. True. We most definitely can't, or I want to know the truth. I definitely want to know the truth. But who even knows if it's even him, due to the fact that, it's, as I said, the game's far from over, even if um they're making it seem like it is. I feel like he's hiding something, something big. Um, true. And we already sent the calling card, and after all... True, we definitely did, so there's no point turning back now. Um, let's do this, like we always do, and steal his palace's treasure. Okay, let's do an ounce. So, I think we're all ready. Since now we know where the treasure is, and we have him all riled up, so it's about time we finally start dealing with him once and for all, because he definitely needs a change of hearts, more than most of the people we've dealt with. So, definitely about time. Let's see what Futama has to say. Since she can't join your party, we might as well see if she says anything different. I got all the navigation you need right here. <laughs> yep, you do. But yeah, I think we're about ready. And this time I'm actually gonna bring Morgana with us this time because of the fact that we just unlocked that new show time. So with that being said, over to the weapon productions, and let's do this. Wonder why it's a weapon production area. That is kinda scary. Um, our only objective today is stealing the treasure. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> right next to the treasure, too. Okay, just gotta make our way over there now. Oh, and it looks like it definitely formed. Although I can't see what it is from here. That little pipe in the middle is actually blocking the view of what it is. <laughs> hey, what is that thing? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that wasn't there before. <laughs> so that was a giant door before. Oh, oh it's a UFO. Oh, is that the frisbee skull mentioned before? That's what they're making here? Huh. The thing that looked like a giant burger bun? Huh, <laughs> weird. The SS Utopia will soon enter its launch sequence from the ship building dock. After retrieval of the main core, the launch sequence will commence. S oh, so this is the Escape to Utopia thing that we've read. Um, the SS Utopia. Um, Project Escape to Utopia. So this is what the, that was about. Huh. Wonder if he's thinking about that in real life as well. Or if that's just what is his um, shadow thought of in order to win. But, um, hmm, okay. Um, Father did say he was going to ascend into the political world. Huh. 
then definitely would make sense then, so this is him basically thinking that he's pretty much there. Hmm, so even this company is a stepping stone from for him. He will discard this place for his own utopia. Apparently so. <laughs> wait up. If he's gonna get out of here, then we're not gonna be able to make him tell us about the shutdowns. Um, yeah, right. We gotta hurry. I think we can go further in now. Yeah, hopefully so. So hopefully we can get to that treasure now, since it's still... Huh? A giant ball? Huh. Weird. That's very weird. What even is that? Oh, uh, look, look at that. It's a treasure. Yeah, it is. Although it's a little weird looking to be a treasure. Huh. Oh, what? Okay, well... Oh, emergency launch. Uh oh Emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. Certain areas may be shut off or destroyed. I repeat, emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately to a safe area of the facility. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, well, there goes the treasure. Doesn't look like we're getting it that easy. Um, what in the world? Yeah, that's not good. Looks like we gotta follow that UFO now. There is no time to deal with you thieves. I must be making my exit. Oh, that's him. Okay, I thought that was the other thing. One second, let me read that in his voice. Instead, I actually thought that was the emergency shutdown sequence still. Oops. <laughs> okay. There is no time to deal with you thieves. I must be making my exit. You can all stand and watch in despair as you go down along with this base. Your destruction is imminent. <laughs> Okay, our destruction is imminent. Sure about that, dude. We're not going down without the fights. Oh, there's no time. We need to hurry. Yeah, we do. Definitely do. Oh, over here. Hmm? Over where? Can you see something? Oh, over here. Okay. Oh, that's right. We need to stop him for certain. Oh, we're not going to let him escape. Okay, there's a time limit, so we can't be sitting around reading those. So let's be careful, because... We definitely don't have enough time. No, wait, enemies have time like this. How annoying. Let's take care of them as we can. We don't need any unnecessary battles. Let's forget the objective. For don't forget about the objective here. Okay. Trying to read those as fast as possible because we literally can't do um, much of doing that. But that was a cool little ability. We didn't get to do that before, but that's a little rolling ability. But we got to... Oh yeah, true, we can run. We're not going to fight these guys because um, battles like this are actually really important so that we don't do these because time limits um, usually mean you have to be there fast. And if we run from these, we might as well can or should. And let's grab this real quick since um, this is going to be gone um, if we don't grab that now. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, nine minutes still on the clock. Doing this for real. Yep, it is. Avoiding unnecessary battles would probably be for the best. Let's retreat and come up with a different strategy. <laughs> no way, we ain't got time for that. We gotta plow right through them. Um, are you even thinking? If we use up all our energy now, we may as well toss our entire plan. Um, hold on, guys. Calm down. Um, Joker, you need to call Joker. I got your back either way. True. Okay, we just need to go through them. Sadly, they're not green, so we can't just run through them. But we can run past them. So as long as we... <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, you're not chasing me over that gap. And if I can press this, um, we can make our way up. Poor Morgana was still back there, though. He was trying to catch up as much as he could. <laughs> okay, let's grab this treasure chest real quick, too. Might as well grab all these because we're not going to be able to come back. So these are just free items, pretty much. So if we don't grab them now, they're going to be gone forever. So yeah, definitely might as well grab them. Okay. Where are we heading to now? That was definitely a run, that's for sure. <laughs> we only got stuck in one of the fights, too, which wasn't that bad. Hey, wait up! Um, we're taking the treasure. You won't escape. Um, yeah, you won't escape. <laughs> no more Project Utopia for you. Oh, there. Hmm? What's going on? Where? Oh, there he is. Hey, Bird Girl Lord, how you doing? You ain't escaping to Utopia yet. <laughs> you gotta go with the runs first. Well, looks like I caught up to you, Mr. CM. Yep, we did. Hmm, I... I'm sorry, I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Huh? Um, father? Harry, you were always so agreeable. Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You've become so admirable. Huh? 
Oh, what's got into him? <laughs> oh, yes. Do you remember, Hungry? You tried to rise out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Wait, what? Huh. Okay. Honestly, you had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could have me made a father happier than seeing that. Well, you still remember something that happened so long ago. Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to the others. Well, why did you change? Yeah, why? Huh, forgive me, Horan, but I would never last if my treasure was stolen. Please don't do it. I'm begging you. Mm hmm? Okay. He's begging us not to take it? Y y you okay? That's interesting. We've never seen this before. Father, let's end it here. Ah, Hori. Oh, you foolish girl. Oh, he used it against us. Well, oh, well, at least Morgana got out before that force field went up. <laughs> good on you, Morgana. Oh, what? Well, that's not good. <laughs> Overcome failure, failure at any cost, even if it means just betraying others. That is the old oh, family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiment are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? Well, what happiness can be found to be profit gained by crushing the other hearts of others? Huh, <laughs> better than that, fair. I'd much rather destroy others than others than wallow in the misery of debt. <laughs> Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm, to the upper echelons of the world, to Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of um history. Annals? <laughs> Interesting. Make your decision, Holy. If you cast them away, I will let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire base. Now then, what is your choice? Wait, incinerated with along with the rest of the ship? So there is no safe areas for the people to run to. I was very surprised that there would be, but um, that just proves that even though the people think they're going to a safe area, they're going to be burned alive. That's um, terrifying. <laughs> wow. Well, there, there's even more proof that he's, <laughs> he's not even going to go down with his own ship. Which is bad enough as is, but um, he's willing to completely sacrifice his entire um, work staff. Not just like one or two, but the entire thing. Which, wow, okay. <laughs> you fool. You okay, Hari? Um, no worry. Oh, uh oh. He's got a laser pistol. He's gonna shoot her eyes out. Run away, guys. <laughs> what about you there? <laughs> Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? How does he know that? Oh, hmm. So you were spying on us? Apparently so. Guess he had cameras everywhere. Hmm. You gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? <laughs> you are absolutely right. Send them out. Cut them off of, from your own personal gain. Or even give you the switch once we take off. So do we have a deal? We'll give you ten seconds. Time is money after all. <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys. Period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, it hit! Ha. Way to go, me! Wowza! You're so cool, <laughs> Mona! You <laughs> <laughs> stole the show, man! <laughs> Father. So much for the negotiation. <laughs> you rebels. There is time before launch. I will crush you all! Very well, then. Bring it! You little... 
you won't get out alive! Okay, and here it is. Channel Kumra. And, um, his boss fight of, um, a time limit. <laughs> yes, this one is, um, very, um, very aggressive. So, yeah, we need to be very careful. And, uh, yeah, okay. So that's all I'm gonna really be able to say because, yeah, the time limit is gonna be a big problem if we don't pay attention to it. Um, it's time you surrender, Father. <laughs> Give up. Try seeing that after you've taken down my company's elite soldiers. Okay, I really do think um, the timer should pause when he's talking, but this is going to be interesting if I read everything. Go, my employees, be the foundation upon which my victory is built. Now, my devoted workers, targeting them at random won't do the trick. You will have to each um have to each one out eventually. Here, target that one first. That bizarre black and white thing. Okay, so they're going for him. Simply as we're healing him, let's break through and punch him right in the face. Okay, that is indeed the plan. So thankfully these guys are weak to fire, so let's go for that first. So cool, cool. Okay, it doesn't look like we're getting all out attacks here, so we have to be careful about that one. But we'll be fine, because we, we can just go for a swift strike here to do the rest of the damage. Okay, down goes the first wave. <laughs> Seriously, how useless can you all be? One of us become of my company's loyalty. Very well then. Hope teach all employees how to demonstrate their loyalty properly. Haru? Oh, literally Haru. Okay then. This was not in Persona 5 regular, so um here's a new mechanic to his boss fights. Haru um Okumura, the um I guess you could say his right hand um woman, I guess you could say. Um, yes, father. Um huh, me? My Haru faithfully obeys my orders. After all, she's nothing like you, charlatan. Basically, that's my father's kind of version of me. Yep, a mindless slave, pretty much. Oh, hey guys, don't let this get to you. I'll just remember you once we take down the Kumra. It'll all be over. Let's wrap this up quick. True. <laughs> Not happening. You shouldn't have underestimated the strength of my company. Employees fall in line. Okay. Here we go, another work order. And this time it's the yellow ones, the ones that are basically his fan base, pretty much. Well, even more. <laughs> Every problem can be solved with more manpower. That is the strength of my company. A company is based on sacrifices of others. Is it true happiness? Okay, definitely so. So let's go for a Mazianga on these guys. They resist it, sadly. But we should be able to ice, okay. Ice and what? Psychic. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They had two, didn't they? Let's do a little bit of damage to them since we can't do all out attacks anyways. So let's just prepare them for one, just because that will help us. Okay, so far so good. And then we'll go for another Mapsio since there's no point in turning into Joker here. Just make sure they're done. Okay, Mona's still being targeted though. Hmm, <laughs> damn these thieves. Chief Clerk, get in here and take care of this. Chief Clerk? Okay, well here they go. Summon Corporobos again, but the red versions. Okay, so all the chief clerks are now here. Okay, so far so good. These guys were wind, right? Nope, electricity. Okay, so it's gonna go electricity, wind, and then psychokinesis, right? So let's go for Mahiagam, since that should be some decent damage on these guys. Since um, the curse amp definitely helps. And then we can go for a Maziango with Ryuji here. Okay, so far so good. Just keep um, zapping these guys to the point where they can't do much. And then we can go for... Wait a minute, they're electric, so let's be careful. Let's just go for some quick fires with the slingshot to make sure. Hmm, <laughs> damn it. Hey, Section Chief, get these loudmouth brats out of my sight. Okay, work order. Okay, here we go. These guys were the wind ones, right? So we need to work on that. I won't let some penny thieves stand in my companies. No, in my way. Terry, no flaws in my father's logic. Hmm, what is he doing? There's a good doctor. Now we can take pride in my work. Marakunda. Oh, uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Dropping her defenses. Okay, so she's giving him free abilities to use. So he's now supporting his allies. Okay, well, that's not major really a problem. Wait, Ryuji is down? No, he ain't. Did Futaba just say Ryuji was down? Okay, then. 
and that was weird, but but simply Vault Guardian, just to be careful, just because this does block one free attack, so there's no reason not to use it. And this will also give us a defense up for the defense we lost. So basically just bringing us back to normal. So that should be way better than not having anything. And we got a free party attack up. That's really good. Thanks, Futaba. And there's proof Futaba's a really, really good support. Okay, so let's go for a Mahieka here. Do some curse stamp. Hopefully it does big damage. And it's really good. Okay, let's go for a Mazianga here as well. Ooh, we got a shock in too. And then we can go for a Magari Blood here. Because that's going to be the best case for the scenario for us. Okay, down we go. And then we can go for another Magarula. And then hopefully it does enough damage to... Well, the only one that survived was the one with the defense up. So that makes a lot of sense, honestly. Hmm, hey, what's the hold up? Can you scrapheads do a one simple job? Enough of this, target that one next. Hmm, hmm. that phony with the face of my daughter. I thought it was gonna be a different person talking there. Okay, next order. Okay, work order against Haru. And he does not look happy. Don't know what he's about to do, but let's be careful, just in case. Because who even knows what he's about to do to us? So let's keep just pummeling him as much as possible. Hopefully Salt Dive will be- ooh, crit! I'll take that. <laughs> Down you go, bud. Okay, going to um, good old Morganum. Get a freebie for some HP recovery and some um, actual attack recovery. And then go for a Garland. Perfect. Okay, another group of enemies down. So this should be the Chief Director's right? Hmm. The your time has arrived, Chief Director. Go forth and show them the weight of your corporate elite. Okay, here we go. All the corporate direct or Chief Directors now. Hmm. Any disgraces with my disagrees with my vision. Be struck down as an example. There are no flaws in my father's logic. Okay. Well, here he goes with some more support for his team. There's a good daughter. No I can take pride in my work. I am in scream. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Ryuji got hunger, but we can work around that. Ben drops his attack, though. Skull's really hungry. He hasn't had the energy to attack. Okay. Well, let's see here. These were psychokinesis, right? So let's just do a little bit of damage for now and then prepare, just in case, because we don't know what's going to happen yet. So, let's just keep doing as much damage as we possibly can. Okay, so far so good. We can go for another map seal, maybe, which probably would be a good idea. But, we can go for the Sayodine that is on our Sen. So, let's trade that and see if we can maybe blast one of these into a plug -in. Because that could help us doing a lot of damage to one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, good. That's actually really good damage. Let's get rid of one of them now, since we don't want these guys to do anything major if we can help it. Okay. Um, I actually want to see if we can maybe wait this out for Ryuji to get his um, hunger off. Because we can get a freebie of getting that off. Oh yeah, we got our Vault Guardian as well. <laughs> yep, keep attacking the wrong ones. Oh, they went for, more, for Haru again, because they're all targeting her. But, yeah, thankfully, me can dodge that, so it's not the worst case scenario. Hmm, hey, what's the hold up? Can you scrap heads do one super job? Enough of this, I'll get that one next. The pompous man with black coat. <laughs> you can definitely try, bud. And that's actually the worst person for him to attack, though, because if he tar targets us, we can actually get knocked down. And that was what I was waiting for. <laughs> there we go. Harrison recovery is always nice. Okay, so now they're um, going after us. Oh, Miracle Punch. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is really, really good. You want to know why? Because now we can pass it to Haru. Haru can do a Mapsio to knock them all down. And then we can get another Baton Pass out of it. And then we can do a big ol' hit with um, good, ol', um, good ol' Joker here. And then uh, one of these guys is going to get blasted into Oblivion. So let's go with the one with the most HP, this guy. So here you go, buddy. I hope you like, um, only 352 damage. Wait, did he have a buff? I'm pretty sure he had a buff, didn't he? That's probably what just happened. Yep, he had defense buff, of course he did. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's why he's so low on, low on HP. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. Um, let's go for one with lower HP then. That doesn't have a DF defense buff. Because that's not, um, good for us. Okay, um... Swift Strike can be useful here. 
That's uh, still a good chunk of damage, since min minuscule damage can still be good. Oh, my enemy retouched! Oh, another one ran away! That leaves just one ant! Wait, they all went away! Oh, what? Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Losing some disposable employees is nothing to me. I am more than enough to replace them. You've made a grave error, underestimating my company body. Well, they left, I guess. Oh, they're... oh... I forgot about that. Okay, well, um... We have to defeat them all at the same time. That's, um... oops. I completely forgot that was a mechanic. Damn it, just how many of them are there? Um, taking them down one at a time will get the trick done. Get rid of them all at once so we can strike Okunra. Okay, yep. Hmm, a new disgrace of my vision will be struck down as an example. Um, my father's words are absolute. Okay, well, let's see. And they're just saying the same thing, so... Oh, well, that wouldn't look different. But, um... Yeah, I gotta be more... Um, lenient on which ones I read now, because now we have... A lot less time to take them down, so we gotta be careful here. So hopefully we can get some miracle punches in, just like so. And then we go in for... We can go for... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Yeah, I don't think I can do it that way. I think it would be pretty good to do it the way I want to. But I think the best way to do this is actually to use Sayo here. And then go for uh, multiple hits with Joker for baton passes. So hopefully this works in my favor. I don't know if this will. But it will hopefully help out if we just keep hitting. As long as we don't miss... It'll actually work in my favor, I think. Yeah, okay, we keep this- okay, good. So we're gonna keep the Baton Pass 3, which is good. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage, like I said, and drop them quite a bit down. Because if we keep doing damage to them and actually knock them down at all at the same time, this should be pretty good. Okay, and then go for another Mapsio to make sure they all stay in around the same area. Okay, good, good, good. And then this guy, which one's the one that still has a lot of HP? Both of these two. Okay, let's do a little bit of damage to this one then. Okay, so far so good. I'm trying to do this on the fly because of the fact that we can't actually let them do much here. Because, um, yeah, we're actually running out of time now. Because 17 minutes is not going to work for us, that's for sure. Okay, so we can't get rid of one of them until we get all rid of all of them. So, we have to split the damage as much as possible. So doing what we were doing with Joker is the smartest idea. I would like to increase our attack, but... Uh oh, sacrifice order. What is that? Uh oh, he's not happy. Hmm, hey, what's up, homie? Can you scrap hands to one super job? Enough of this. Target that one next. The bizarre black and white thing. Okay, they're going for him. Okay, well, um... We should probably knock him down, because he seems like the most dangerous to keep up. So let's knock him onto the floor. And then we'll go into good old Haru, and then we'll do that thing again, since that should do quite a bit. And then we should probably knock one of the ones down that actually has a good chunk of um, HP back, because he has some defense that we need to break through, so hitting him twice with Sionite would probably be a good idea. Please don't do enough damage, please don't. No, that's not good. That's really, really not good. Okay. Well, we need to drop this guy then, like now, 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 because this guy being up is not good for us. I don't know how we're supposed to get this done now, um, in the amount of time we have, so hopefully we can do enough damage to drop at least a couple of them here. Okay, go for a Sionodyne on this one, and then hopefully Ryuji on his turn, his Swiss Strike will hit all of them, so hopefully this works. Okay, down goes one. Not enough to get both of them. Oh no, this is going to be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, I'm going to be right back once I actually get down the green guys, because this is actually going to be a little bit harder with me thinking like this, because I need to actually fully prepare myself for this. So be your b-boys and girls once I get closer to that being finished. Okay, finally, I actually had to redo the fight, and I actually found out that they're weak to curse. Wish I knew that before, because, um, yeah, that would have been a lot easier, because, um, yeah, Curse does way more damage than Sionodyne ever does, so, yeah, would have been smarter, honestly, but, yeah, I have, I ended up getting an attack boost and a defense drop on all of them, 
or attack boost on us and then a defense drop for them. So thankfully it ended up being really easy to knock them out after I had everything ready. But let's keep going. Hmm, it seems all the newly workers are not fit for the job. Executive Director, come to me. Executive Director. Okay, here we go. The last of the last. Because the green ones are definitely not the finale, but this one definitely has to be, since it is only one of them. No, then. Fulfill your duties as my right-hand man. For the eternal prosperity of Akuma Foods. Okay. Well, I'm not get letting him get away for free, so I'm just doing heavy um, psychic damage when my baton pass. And hopefully it does some damage. Nope, then did nothing. Well, um, let's see here. We can go for a Vault Guardian here. So let's do that instead. Since, thankfully, now that we're finally on what is... Which should be the easier part of this fight, because getting through those enemies like that is not easy at all. So hopefully, now that we're ready for this guy, we can kind of test the waters and see what he is weak to, or what we can do. Ooh, 500 damage for regular attack there. Okay, that's good. Um, let's try to assault dive on him and see if it works. We got a crit, so that'll work. Okay, crit into him, and then swap it over to Joker for another big hit from Mahiego with Curse Amp. It should be a good chunk of damage there. 900, not bad at all. Okay, yep, this is much easier. <laughs> much easier than the last um, group of enemies, that's for sure. Okay, just te keep doing elemental damage and we'll keep doing damage to him. Hey, losing is not an option here. You carry the Okumura Company's food company name. Kill those thieves, even if it cost you your life. Big Bang Order. Uh-oh. Exer Cobra has now focused. Uh-oh, that could be bad. So he's getting ready to do a big hit on us if we let him. Um, let's go for Sayo. We're actually Vault Guardians, so we should be fine as long as he doesn't do almighty damage. So just keep doing damage to him. Don't let him get away. And there he goes. Down goes the big bad guy. Hopefully that's the last one. I'm not 100% though. Hmm, what even him? Er, someone is there. Anyone here? Hmm, nope. No one in that one. Okay. But no one came. Why isn't anyone coming? Oh, Clark, you're in bed for seeking even by your own employees. Let's end this, Joker. Okay, thankfully we got in. Okay. Took me a second try, but, um, yeah, I actually did it in nine minutes. Not bad. Hmm, damn it. Even that's how it is. Harlan, I command you to go forth. Show them the might of your own company. Oh, yes, Father. Um, Okuma Foods will be cutted if I fail. Do you cross the situation here? Hurry. Hmm. Oh, that was... That was Mr. Okumura, because... <laughs> both of them have Okumura at the last end of their name, so I got confused. Oh, of course, Father. Hmm. Well, they protect me, even if it costs you your life. Oh, I think it's Father. Okay, here we go. Looks like it's not over yet. We gotta fight through another... Oh, robot, but this time it's Haru. This is how I can fight Father sees me. Nothing more than a puppet. He says when ordered. This is for my father's sake. Yep, it is, apparently. Well, here we go. First off's first. Let's be ready for anything we can do. So, first off's first is raise everybody's attack. Since we do have the bonus um, time on that. So, let's send it up with uh, Nubis since he has that bonus stuff. So that should be good for us. We still have Vault Guardian on Ryuji, so I don't need to worry about attacking normally there. And then we can go for a Meteorama with a uh, good old Morgana, just in case. Just to prepare for Ryuji, just in case if she hits twice or something. Okay, so far so good. Set up a Vault Guardian again, just to raise the defense again. Because I've forgotten if it's... Okay, yeah, it's done up right now, so let's get that defense up. Since, yeah, definitely just to be careful... We don't need to let them have a free advantage if we don't need to. Okay, thankfully we were able to block that. Okay, now we can go for a Markundum, and then now we can start attacking. Okay, now that we're perfectly ready to start doing damage, I think it's about time we start knocking down um, Haru's little robot here, and actually deal with um, good old Okumura here. And maybe we can get a crit out of this. Nope. <laughs> uh, that party accuracy innovation would have helped there. But it, sadly, it did not help in that case. But we can keep going, though. Okay. Oh, Bone Guardian didn't block that one. Hmm, what's a hold of Haru? If you don't stop them, my dreams. God, it seems I have no other choice. Haru self-destruct. 
Don't need to take those damn thieves with you. Well, no way. Well, Pruma's even willing to sacrifice his own father. Oh, everyone. Let's destroy it before he can self-destruct. Well, but, no way, that's... Well, I'm no longer my father's subservient puppets. The real me is standing right here, opposing him. True. Definitely true. I'm guessing this would be a one-shot if, um, it goes through. Because who even knows how much that's gonna do. So... Let's go into good old Arsene here. Will she block curse damage? Hopefully not. Let's see. Her. Okay, good. She doesn't. Because most of the time, um, they always have like nullify nullification to curse damage. But thankfully, they remember that um, there is normal curse damage in this game. So it thankfully, it doesn't work like that for us. Ooh, that's good. Well, <laughs> even Harlan couldn't stop them. I've had enough. Someone get in here. Anyone. Oh, Father, the time has come to end this. I hope you're prepared. Yeah, I hope you're prepared, dude. Because I'm hoping you're ready for a good old grenade launcher to the face. Because down you go, buddy. You and your 1 HP. <laughs> I think he has 1 HP. And it always seems like you one-shot him. Because in the original game, when you finally got to attack him, you one-shot him as well. So, yeah. There we go. 8,200 experience and 31,000 money. Not bad. Level oh, 40 for Arsene, 45 for Joker, 44 for both, um, for all, um, for Eiji, Yusuke, Mon, and Makoto, er, Morgana. And, oh yeah, and Makoto. I didn't even notice. And 43 for both Haru and Futaba. Not bad. Maybe we'll get some skills out of that too. Let's see. Nope, not a single skill. Oh, really? Huh. That's surprising. With everyone leveling up, I thought at least one. Hmm. In the end, I am just one more line in a lineage of failures. I will contact your fiancé and rescind the marriage offer. This may be the end of Akura Foods. Forgive me, Harry. Um, hmm. Don't know if I trust you after the last one. Father. <laughs> you were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? Hmm. I admit I spent a long sum of money to help my company grow and crush business competitors. Heh, <laughs> answer me, damn it. Did you do it or not? <laughs> not personally. I had a contact. Contract. All I did was make the request to have them eliminated. So he's just using them from what he could get. So someone else is doing it. Well, at least now we finally found someone that was connected to them, though. Well, that's good. Request. Well, then there really is mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. Well, obviously. Even <laughs> well, they don't know that because Igor's literally told us. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's definitely someone down like doing stuff. And yep, yeah, whoever it is, they're very, very scary based on what we've heard. Everything about them. Oh, so it's true. What kind of contract did he form, and with whom? Yeah, with who? Oh, I guess he's not going to tell us yet. <laughs> Come on, stop crying and tell us. Oh, self instruct time. Oh, damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can you stop that thing? Probably not. Um, oh well. We can't just throw our lives away like this. True. Um, look up there. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, the treasure. Yeah, we're going to need that. So, let's go take that finally. So, what well, even was it, honestly? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, we've taken your treasure. If we have. So, thank you for that, and, uh, I guess we'll see you later, Mr. Akumura, because looks like we're done with you now. Um, huh? Um, there's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? Yeah, did you? At least tell us that, but... Heh, <laughs> we don't get time for to get that out of him. Um, we'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Eh, he's not gonna tell us, is he? Because they won't even know what happened inside the palace, but maybe he will in the real world. Who knows? Um, Panther. Yeah, let's get out of here. Um, should we bring Father with us? Um, don't worry. He'll be fine. We'll end up dead if you're not out of here soon, though. It would be... That would be kind of cool to see what happens if you bring the shadow out. But I don't think he can at all. I think he would be blocked at the entrance. Um, only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. Yep, I guess so. Well, you're going down with your ship now. And there's nothing you can do about it, Mr. Akumra. Hope you're ready for a change of heart, because it's going to happen now.
And never mind. Whatever just happened, uh, that did not look good. My utopia. Well, um, that's not good. And there he is. There's our man in the black mask we've been hearing all about all this time. Finally getting to see him. <laughs> nope. And there he goes. Well, that's not good. <laughs> the shadow is now dead. And based on what we've been been told, um, we can't let that happen. Uh-oh. That's going to be bad later, isn't that? Hmm. We will make it. Or will we make it? Um, probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible. <laughs> we count on you, Mona. Yeah, we got to drive out of here, it seems. Hopefully... Driving like a maniac and gets us out of here because yeah, I think that's the only way we're surviving this. Four, three, oh, here comes time or the, one, <laughs> the explosion. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Self destruct sequence and activated, and town goes Burger Topia for sure. Jeez, what a way to end a palace though. And honestly, with the end of what just happened with that palace, um, that did not look good at all from what we just saw. Because, um, yeah, we've never actually destroyed a shadow during our adventures yet, so that could be really, really bad. Oh, Pete, my heart is still pounding. Oh, <laughs> we did a great job in there. Yeah, we definitely did. We don't know anything about what just happened, though. All of us think that we got out of there and the shadow is perfectly fine. But after we left, it's completely been destroyed by the person we've been looking for this entire time. Oh, you know Morgana. You seemed almost normal when you, t when you took the treasure. Um, oh? Um, the truth behind the mental shutdowns remained unsolved. Although, Okuma was in the culprit. Still, he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. Yeah, hopefully. Um, hmm. Well, who knows? Uh, Mom? Yeah. Sadly, Futama's mom was definitely one of them that, you know, meant the end of that, um, but, yeah, well, at least we found the treasure. It's, a uh, board game? Oh, is this... His treasure was a plastic model cat. Huh, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. So that made him, uh, choose the name for Big Bang Burger, then. Or at least I would think so. Or Project Utopia, at least. That's the same shape of his, um, UFO. Um, what's the matter? I remember Father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he used to leave as a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Huh, your family could get, like, a thousand of those kids, though. Um, Okuma Foods has been around for generations, but it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. Um, he'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors were frequent presents when my father was young. Hmm. Well, if he can give money with no collateral, couldn't he have saved some money up for his son? If he was such a good man? That makes no sense. What? If he knew his son wanted that so bad, he couldn't put a little bit of money away every paycheck. Even if he was, you know... A small company owner. That's kind of messed up. Huh. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah, I feel like he still could have if he really wanted to. Because, yeah, although he is small and he has debt collectors, I think if you're such a good man, you would still go out of your way to try and make your son happy or your family happy if you're such a good person. That's there's There seems to be a discrepancy there, because I've seen... An, lot of things where real life and through media where the the family that this guy or this guy mom or whatever they'll do everything for their kid even if they're going through all that um but yeah definitely interesting mm -hmm. maybe it was a lot more in debt than we realized maybe i'll give him the benefit of the doubt but that is kind of weird though in my opinion i still feel like there probably was still a chance he could still you know get this for him, and then he may may have not even turned into the what he turned into. Hmm, that must be why. Why Akumara was willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. 
Oh, no. Oh, the same thing. Hmm? What's going on? It is a staggering price. I've heard this can only can happen to a collector of this item, but still. <laughs> I think we're gonna pay that much for a plastic toy. Oh, so it was very expensive. Okay. Who even knows how much it was? But, huh. Well, I guess we'll take it. Well, it probably wasn't a collector back then, though. It probably just came out when he was a kid. So, who even knows, but it definitely, based on what we just heard, it's expensive nowadays. So, I guess we're gonna make a good penny on this thing when we sell it. Oh, by the way, when exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? Oh, see, that's how we know. True. You just gotta wait until the end of the timer. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Um, once he has had his change of heart, we'll be surely be able to find out who is behind the mental shutdowns. True. Hopefully so as well. Well, oh, here he is again. The big bad guys. The SIU director and whoever is behind that phone. Because we still have yet to even see who's behind the phone yet. All we know is there's someone really big in power. Hmm, yes, exactly as you planned, sir. Everything from the Phantom Thieves taunting Akumra to them changing his heart. Oh, wait, so that wasn't people telling us to go after Akumra? They were just... Huh. So they made the push on the fan site then, if that's the case. We've lost a convenient source of income, but I'd rather not risk this his connection coming to light. Akumra was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. <laughs> of course, without fail, sir, I requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden, min sudden mental shutdown will occur just at the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection in the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. Okay. Two birds with one stone. So, both Haru's father and us in one stone. Huh. Okay. Well, that's kind of scary, but I guess we'll find out what he means by that one. I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of your group. Um, turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? Um, it's okay. It happens to everyone. It happens to everybody. Yeah, you're all good, bud. Oh, thanks. No problem, Morgana. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Um, well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like a reason to live. But now that I'm sure I belong with Phantom Thieves, I know that what I want to do. Do you know what it is? Make us more famous? Get your own room? I don't know. Um? Hmm. I don't know where make us more famous is the only good options, I guess. I guess make us more famous, I guess? Um, what else, right? I guess so. Huh, okay, well, good on you, I guess. I still don't care about fame. Although it is fun being, you know, famous, like, heroes, basically. But it's... Eh, I don't really care about it. Um, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the Phantom Thieves succeed. In other words, our goals are in alignment. And if this proves anything, my favorite, um, superhero, although he is famous, per se, but in his universe, he's far from on the side of the public. So he's got people that hate him in good majority. So 50% hate him and then 50% like him. And if you are wondering who that is, it is indeed Spider-Man. But it's, and that's actually my very first superhero I ever watched in um, my young age when um, I was a lot younger. And honestly, definitely some fun movies and shows that came out of that in games. But it's, um... Yeah, I don't care about the fame. I already know that you don't have to be famous to be a cool superhero. Let's be honest. Well, nowadays, Spider-Man's a big media character, but definitely it is true in his own universe. He doesn't need to be popular to be a superhero, that's for sure. So, we're all good. We don't need that. Although it is fun for the time being, but the fame on the fan site does not seem to be what we want, though, for sure. Because they are way too crazy on that fan site. Well, from now on, I'm not going to hold anything back. Um, you better put some effort in, too. Don't make me regret my choice. Okay, I won't. I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper. That's rank 9. Only one more rank and we're done with Morgana's. 
Uh, Confidant. Ooh. Confidant Morgana. Arcana, Magician, Rank 9. Protect. Chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Your Magician Confidant has increased Rank 9. You will now earn even more EXP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Magician Arcana. Morgana can now use Protect. And we'll take it. Since it's definitely useful. Because Protect is a very, very good ability. And on top of that, because of the fact that if Joker does go down, your whole team gets wiped. So... Yeah, you want to make sure Joker has the most amount of protection as possible. Um, plus I would Lady on to be happy. And my actions can help her achieve happiness. That's more than enough for me. <laughs> okay, well, then it's plan. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all this is. It's fine, bud. Apparently Joker was. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was fun. Um, success. Now all that's left is to wait for your to change of hearts. Yep, I guess so. That boss fight was hard, though, for, um, because I played that on easy mode originally, and fight is actually a lot harder on normal difficulty, which we've been playing on this entire time. Definitely a hard fight with the fact that he buffs those, um, soldiers in order to have Raku Kaja on one of them, and that makes it even harder to get rid of the entire squad. I think what it could have done is guard, but the thing is, is they have the sacrificial order, what they get on the second turn of being on field, and if they blow up from Sacrificial Order, a whole new group comes out. I'm not even joking, it's it's pretty insane. Thankfully, we had our Sen there, or that would have probably been a lot harder than I would have realized. But yeah, thankfully they're down though. So that was... Thankfully it took a second try, but I ended up beating it in about, what was it, like 13 minutes for Haru's um, robot as well. So, not bad. Nine minutes to get through the, um, through, like, the biggest bulk of it. So, yeah, not bad. Um, thank you so much for today, everyone. Um, likewise. You must certainly be, must, you must certainly be exhausted. I suggest you go to sleep early. Um, hey, we shouldn't talk about Haru's welcoming party. Um, let me just say, we wouldn't let her rest, we would let her rest you dimwits. I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay, I promise. Um, as long as you're okay, Haru. Well, this, is there anywhere you'd like to go? Um, actually, I'd like to walk around the school festival with everyone. Oh, the school festival? That could be fun. Hmm, you mean the Shujin school festival? I must admit, I am interested as well. Hmm, then it's settled. I can't wait. Um, yeah, I can't wait. That sounds like fun. That reminds me, we still haven't settled on a guest. Um, a guest? Like, some kind of celebrity. <laughs> Wait, does that mean the fan thieves could be one of the candidates? How about it, um, wanna show up? Uh, that's a bit over the top. And yeah, we don't have our costumes in real life, so... Yeah, it wouldn't work. Um, you're getting way too carried away. Um, uh, don't say such strange, th strange things. Mm, what a shallow idea. Um, uh, uh, if we hit combo... <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> it caught me off guard. I didn't expect the four hit combo from Futabum. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. But honestly, I think that's where we're gonna end off today's episode. So with um Mr. Akumra now officially done and over with, and what seems to be um not going through a good time at the moment because of the fact that we saw the shadow actually get blasted away by the man in the black mask. Uh, yeah, who even knows what's gonna happen with, with, uh, Mr. Akumara. But, at least we actually got him down and, you know, may have done a change of heart, who even knows. We grabbed his treasure, so hopefully it negates whatever ha is about to happen. But, with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode, have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and I'll see you on the next one. Keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.